Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Cruzy here. And today, I just got back from work for the day. And so, this review is going to be on the 2013 Adam Sandler film from Happy Madison. And it's also the sequel to the 2010 film, Grown Ups. And this review is on Grown Ups 2. Grown Ups 2 is once again directed by Dennis Dugan and stars once again Adam Sandler, Kevin James, David Spade, Chris Rock, and Selma Hayek, among others. So, in Grown Ups 2, Lenny moves his family back in, into his hometown to, to be with his friends, but he finds what, 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 what with old bullies, new bullies, party crashers, and more, and that, that he hasn't left the crazy life behind Los Angeles. Lenny's friends mu must, also, must also cope with their, with their own challenges. Eric must face his ultimate fear, and Kurt has to go back to work as a cable repairman, and Marcus learns that he has an 18-year-old son. And of course, just like in almost every Adam Sandler, Happy Madison comedy film, a bunch of crazy shenanigans happen here and there. So, so yeah, just, just like the first Grown Ups film, I remember watching the second Grown Ups film with my friend Tyler Auer back at his house. Like, I remember watching this movie a few times, like, back, back at my friend's house a long time ago. And and for what it is, I think I think I think to this day, in my opinion, it's like I said it's like I said in my grown ups review on the first movie, this movie was just this movie was just not that bad in my opinion. I mean I thought I mean I thought Grown Ups 2 I thought was just an okay sequel to Grown Ups. But in my opinion it's just a one and done for me. Cause because like I said in my in my in my original review on the first movie, I prefer the first grown ups a little bit more. And and there's like many reasons why why this movie is kind of like not not as good as the first Grown Ups film and and why I think it's just a one and done for me. Reasons for that is because there there's like frequent slapstick, but sometimes I don't sometimes I don't mind frequent slapstick unless if it's done right. But but I think the first Grown Ups film had, I think the first Grown Ups movie had the had the frequent slapstick done the right way. The, this this here in Grown Ups two the, the the when it comes to the slapstick in the second Grown Ups film. It can get a little stupid. It, it can get a little stupid and irritating at some parts. Like, 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 right when the right when the movie opens, like we start out with the like where where the movie opens up. Like they like like they actually they, there was actually that one morning and that actually one one morning at, at the very beginning of the film they actually discovered there was a, there was actually a deer in their house and it's like and 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 and, and when it gets kind of stupid and, and when it gets kind of stupid and kind of silly over the top in some way. Like the deer actually ur urinates on the family, of course, at, at a couple parts, and then the, the deer also rip ripped up a doll toy, whatever that is. Yeah, because that that was probably my least favorite part about this film, and one of my flaws I have with the film is, is that like the, like like the family, the family getting, getting the family and characters getting attacked by a deer, and and the deer urinating on them. I mean, that was kind of stupid to me. I'm sorry, but. But I will say, my favorite part about Grown Ups 2, my favorite scene was actually when, when David Spade's character was actually like rolling, rolling in a tire. Like, but then of course, but then of course, like the tire goes out of control and, and goes and go and, and and becomes like a runaway tire. And then Shaquille O'Neal's character, the his police officer character, like stops the tire with his body. And then of course, when the tire comes to a complete stop, David Spade's character felt got so dizzy that he he had he he threw up, like he vomited from from all that spinning and rolling in the tire. I think I will say that that's that was actually my favorite part about this film, cause yeah, cause I, that that was my favorite thing about Grown Ups too. And then oh yeah, and, and besides and besides the the cast members like Adam Sandler and and including etc. But there was also Taylor, Taylor Lautner from Twilight actually has a role in this film. Like she like like he like Taylor Lautner actually plays and plays like I think he plays like one one of the bully characters in the film and. And you know Taylor Lautner from Sharkboy and Lava Girl and the Twilight films, and yeah, it's like, but yeah, because yeah, and Taylor Lautner himself, like even even though I kind of, even though I kind of, I don't really mind Taylor Lautner in a lot of his movies. I mean, I I mean I thought he he did pretty good in Sharkboy and Lava Girl, and the Twilight films, some kind of so so on him, like because you know because that that's when ta that that's because I think Taylor Lautner became famous in the Twilight films for his performance as Jacob Black, but. But his role here in Grown Ups 2, it was kind of like so-so in my opinion, but but at least he got but at least his character got what he deserved at the end, of course, when he when he got when he got put when he got when he got knocked out but by the deer from from the beginning of the film. Yeah. And then and then of course at the very end of the film they also and, and then of course the ending to Grown Ups 2 actually actually has something to do with like with like with it which which the family actually has a baby on the way as well. 
and it's like, yeah, and, and me, me and my, me and my, what, me and one of my friends talked to each other on FaceTime, like, like we, we were thinking about if they were to, if they were to make a, a third Grown Ups film, Grown Ups three would have to be released on Netflix as a streaming release rather than a theatrical release, unlike the first two Grown Ups films. Like if a Grown Ups three were to happen, like I, I kind of would, would, I kind of would really like to see how 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 they how they would take care of this baby. Of course, like, like how like how they have the baby on the way and, and that, that 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 happens at the end of the film. And yeah, but but um. But but not not very time not 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 anytime soon are we gonna get a third grown ups film. I mean some I mean even to some people out there who didn't who did not really like the grown ups films that much, and that's fine with me. You can like it, you can hate it. You know it's like I said, you can like it, you can hate it. Everyone's entitled to her, to their own opinion. Everybody's different. Form your own opinion. But yeah, and Dennis Dugan Dennis Dugan actually does a, a pretty okay job directing this one. But but like I said, in my opinion, Grown Ups Two is just like. I mean, it, sure, it's not, it's not as good as the first Grown Ups film, but it was just an okay sequel that just exists. Yeah, and and, and it's just a one and done for me. And it's like, yeah, yeah, Grown Ups Two is just a one and done for me. And yeah, at, at least at least it, at least I found I found one scene that that I found pretty funny. Of course, and I I thought it was pretty fun, like how with David Spade like rolling in the tire, and yeah, that that was the best part for me in my opinion. And. Oh yeah, plus I almost forgot to mention, guys. I almost forgot to mention. I think there was actually this one scene where Chris Rock's character Kurt actually actually sends actually like actually sent like sends like some sends like some sort of note to 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 one of his relatives like 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 what one of his older relatives I think is like his mother or something like that. I don't know his aunt or something. I I mean, correct me if I'm proven wrong, because yeah, because it's like and it's like and like she actually she actually yells and rants of course like. No, no, you burn in hell. You cable and stole them up. Damn it. <laughs> I will say, guys, I think I actually kind of found 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 that quote pretty funny to me. Yeah, because I kind of laughed at that part a little bit. Like with, with the with the damn it part. <laughs> I kind of laughed. I kind of laughed at that part. But I also learned on IMDB that I also learned on learned on IMD, IMDB years ago that that when during the making of this film, like her original line is actually a use of, of the MF word, the, the mofo word. But then the but then but then but then the work but then the staff who worked on the grown ups two decided to to replace to replace the MF word with with a little of like with a little bit of, of of gibberish. They decided to replace the use of 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 MF with with gibberish, just in case if if it would have gotten the film an, an R rating instead of a PG thirteen rating. Because there's been like like most R rated films out there that had the uses of the MF word, but. But I can see why they had to replace the MF word with like with like some sort of gibberish before she yells, "Damn it!" <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that was actually two parts I kind of laughed at a little bit. Yeah, besides the tire rolling scene, and of course, like you know, like yeah, the, the like the electric bill scene, and, and the and you, know, you cable and stole them up. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. So, but still, guys, Grown Ups Two, Grown Ups Two still wasn't as good as the first Grown Ups because, like I said, I do prefer the first Grown Ups a little bit more since I gave the first Grown Ups three and a half out of five. And so, for Grown Ups Two overall, it's just a, it's just a, an okay one and done sequel that just exists. And I'm gonna give Grown Ups Two three stars out of five. Yeah, that that's actually the same rating I, I gave the Ridiculous Six on. I also gave the Ridiculous Six three stars out of five since. Ridiculous Six was just the one and done for me. Yeah, but but if you enjoyed the first Grown Ups and if and if you really and if you really if you also really enjoyed the the second Grown Ups, then that's good with me. Yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of hard, to, and it's also hard to believe that this that this sequel has been around for ten years now, from from all the way from the summer of twenty thirteen to the present day in twenty twenty three, ten years ago. Anyway, guys, so that's going to be it for my movie review on Grown Ups 2. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.